This episode of Sea Tally Run is brought to you by the Lifetime Torchlight 5K, the Kerry Tolfson Training Camp, and M Tech Results. <laughs> and Carrie Tellefson and today I'm at Lifetime Fitness getting ready to learn about kettlebells. So let's get after it. Well, kettlebells kind of originated 300 years ago in Russia. Mm -hmm. um, they'd just become popular in the U.S. maybe around the late 90s. Um, a guy named Pavel kind of brought them over from Russia. They had trained uh, the Russian military and the Russian police force with them. Wow. It's a great tool for a full body workout. I mean, you can train flexibility, strength, aerobic, anaerobic, pretty much anything with kettlebells. So somebody that's new to running yep. or is a walker or someone sure. that just you know runs a couple times a week, yeah. you recommend this? Oh, absolutely. I mean, getting the strength, I mean, is going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can do cardio with it. Like, let's say your knees are bugging you, you can do swings, and it's going to get your heart rate pumping. I mean, it's great for elderly people that have knee replacements um, that can do that cardio without the constant impact of the treadmill. Um, getting strength is just such an important key that runners sometimes overlook. And runners obviously yeah. benefit totally oh, from absolutely. anaerobic, aerobic, and VO2 max mm -hmm. um, areas. But if yeah. you're doing a weight loss program, yeah. huge, right? Absolutely. We call it metabolic resistance, which is the mix of cardio and strength together. Mm -hmm. Not to mention you can get it all done in about a half hour, so it's efficiency. So if you only have a half hour to work out, which a lot of us do because we're so busy with kids and work, mm -hmm. kettlebells are going to be absolutely amazing for you. So we're going to get ready. Uh huh. What's the first so thing? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off your shoes. And the reason we take off your shoes is your shoes can sometimes act like a cast around mm. your ankle and that can actually weaken our legs. That's okay. one reason. The other reason is we want uh, good contact with the ground when we're swinging kettlebells. The main thing to realize with the swing is it's all from your hips, okay? You drive from your hips, glutes, and and quads, okay? okay? You do not raise the bell up. That's the number one thing that I see people do wrong. They pull up with their shoulders. So okay. we don't want to do that at all, okay? We want to make sure and keep the bell in this triangle. If you drop it below here, uh -huh. that's when you're going to get in trouble with your back, okay? okay? So this is what it would look like. You're going to drive it through and then drive it back forward with your hips and glutes, okay? okay. So it's going to be here, you're going to be eyes up, through the middle. So our first movement's backwards with her hips. That's very, very important. We don't want to squat, okay? And she's got her shoulders nice and relaxed, which is perfect. Okay. Good. Now I want you to exhale as you bring the bell forward. <laughs> Dynamic motion. So make sure when you drive it back, you start almost in a deadlift position okay. and then drive it back in your legs as opposed to picking up and just swinging momentum. Oh, okay. So here, eyes up. <laughs> and then set it down nice and safe. Safety is very important. Okay, okay so I'm just gonna demonstrate what the windmill looks like, okay? And you'll instantly see the benefits for runners. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bend backwards as your first movement. Yep, so you don't go straight over. Okay. You bend backwards, okay? Yep. And this front leg can bend, okay. okay? So back leg stays straight, front leg can bend, okay? Our hands are in a perfectly straight line, okay, okay with the bell. So pretend you have a bell. Yep. First movement back with your glutes, sliding your hand supinated down your leg. Eyes stay on your bell. You want to fold over your hips so your belly button's facing forward. Okay? So what I want you to do is push your, your booty back this way a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Is that right? Beautiful. See how her arms are in a straight line? That's what we want, okay? This straight line right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to work this single leg deadlift, which will work the stabilizing muscles of the glute, okay? So we're going to pick it up, nice and safe. So if your left foot is on the ground, the bell's going to be in the right hand. And the reason okay. we do that is so our hips don't tilt. Okay. 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 So we're going to come down here, eyes up, hinge at the hips, just like our swing. Do you bend that knee as you're coming yes, down? Yes, slight bend in the knee. Flush. Do and the other switch leg. right away yeah. and go into the next leg. Oh. Keeping your eyes up, focusing on a specific point will help you keep your balance. So, very similar to the deadlift, we pick it up safely, bring it up to the horns, okay? Keep our elbows in, chest up, squat down, so come up. So you go pretty low. Yep. If you have the flexibility and your hips don't tilt in. It's good to do this in a mirror to see where your hips are at. Yeah. If they start to roll in, then you went too far down. Okay. We exhale as we come up, okay, and squeeze our butt muscles. 
The nice thing about bells is you can, if you have a few different weights, you can go heavy, you can do five reps, yep. really work on the strength. You can go higher reps around 10 to 15 and do more muscular endurance, which would benefit runners quite a bit. Right, right. So yeah, keep those reps a little bit higher for the muscular endurance. Yeah, if I want to get better at this, how can I find you guys? Yeah, we have really great instructors here. We're all RKCs, so we all know exactly what we're doing with kettlebells. So make sure that you find somebody who knows what they're doing before you try to throw those bells around. And Lifetime is obviously nationwide. Yes, nationwide, so. you bet, you bet. <laughs> so we can find you guys pretty much Absolutely, anywhere. yeah. Just go to lifetimefitness.com, click on the club, and uh, there'll be more information on there for you. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Carrie. It was fun. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for joining me at Lifetime Fitness for my kettlebell workout. And get after it. Help spread the word about C. Tally Run by sharing this episode on Facebook and Twitter or by rating and reviewing us in iTunes. It's an easy way to support the show, so get after it.